Hey there, besties. Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. You would think on such a wonderful day that people would wake up with love in their heart, ready to be happy and enjoy life. Bring good things out to everyone else because they're so happy and joyful and ready to go and be with their loves and have dinner and balloons and cake and presents and all those things. You would think, right? You would think, right? I would think anyway, but huh, such is not the case. This Valentine's Day 2023, what do I wake up to? Mm. Mm -mm. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. So you're familiar with this video, I'm sure. I need a house, so I'm taking yours because I'm a good mama. All of the women who went out here and decided to take over a house that didn't belong to them because they did the research on making sure to know that that house had no one in it for two years. Instead of doing the research on how to get a job, how to get a man, how to hold on to a man, how to have a good relationship, how to get along with the father of the kids that you have, or to try to go ahead and give those kids to their father so they could go ahead and get their lives together. No, not do any of that, y'all. Not do any of that. It would make more sense to steal from someone else. Because when you own nothing and you take it, that's stealing. When you didn't purchase it, when you didn't negotiate a deal to have it, that's stealing. In this case, they'll call it squatter's rights because these ladies went ahead and took over a house and made it a home for their kids. Even though it don't belong to them, they ain't paying their bit of rent. So how this is even allowed to go on as long as it did is beyond me, but that's a whole different stream. So we got a new contestant. Phil Gap. Mm, mm, mm. Obviously, Phil Gap is new around here and doesn't know how this works. So let's go ahead and show them. All right. So Phil Gap says, Miss Messing Michonne, you sound terribly. Mm, mm, mm. And your English sounds redonkulous. You're mad because they found a loophole while y'all are sitting down paying rent, to be honest. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Always, like I always say, y'all, an insult. Always someone acting like they know, they know everything and throwing insults at me and calling me names. And I'm broke. I'm masculine. I'm a transgender. I got a small penis. Pick me, mammy. And anything else that they can come up with while snowing absolutely nothing, but always ready to throw an insult because, and I'll continue to say it, it's something in the story that resonates with you. So at the end of the day, probably I would say you're just mad because you can't do it or you, you can agree with these women and what they do. That doesn't mean that you have to insult me. If you think that it makes sense to steal Hopefully you don't have any children because you basically would be uh, showing them that it is okay to steal. So you're basically showing your cards. You don't have anything. That's why this resonates with you. But you want to throw that insult at me. I don't have anything. I sound terrible. I'm renting, you know, all that stuff that one has nothing to do with anything. Two makes absolutely no sense. And three proves that you're not here. You're just trolling passing by. So like I asked yesterday, why did you stop? Because there's black old women on the thumbnail. Is that what gets y'all? Is that the only thing in life that y'all can relate to is race and blackness and black people? Are you pro black or something like that? Not that I care, but it's just so, so, so is interesting that the only time that you all seem to troll is when it's a, a black person, black woman specifically on the thumbnail. Note for my thumbnails. Continue to do the way that I've been doing it. OK, let's see. Why can't I see my own reply? So, oh, OK, there's my reply. So first time I said, yeah, that's it. Dysfunctional much question to the person. That's all. Just a question. Now you have insulted me. I sound terrible. Then I sound mad and I'm mad that they found a loophole and then insult me by saying that I'm paying rent. Not that there's anything wrong with paying rent, but not knowing the situation and tossing it out there. We all know that it's meant as an insult, right? Right. So then she says, I'm assuming it's a she 
Unless it's an effeminate male, I'm going to go ahead and assume it's a she. Yeah, that's America. It's what you represent. You you got that right, because I do live in America. So I am an American. Got it. You, you got something right, y'all. Shout out to you. I wouldn't use the word delusion and hypocritical. Mm, I, I didn't use that word, Um, but OK. I, I don't know where that comes from, but that's fine, y'all. I don't care how you bash anybody. Oh, the infamous bash, the infamous bash. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely a woman, a black woman, since she used the word bash. Anybody you just sound super sour and being super negative, but not giving options. And it just sounds like you're mad. You are the top pick of all black men. Okay, so I don't care how you bash anybody. You just sound super sour and being super negative, but not giving options. And it just sounds like you're mad. All right. So I'm super shout out to super sour and super negative. So I'm super sour because why now? I'm not sure why I'm super sour and why I'm super negative. I'm negative because I don't agree that people should steal. I'm negative, but the women in the video who are stealing from someone that they don't know because they took the time to basically case the joint. Let's call a spade a spade. If men did this, there would be hell in the streets. There would be hell to pay if a man sat on camera at that, y'all. And said, I saw that it was vacant for two years and I needed a place to stay. I needed a place to stay. This place was vacant. So I just went in there and I took it over and I'm happy and I ain't going. And I got the support of all these crazy liberals who want to support something like this. But let someone come into their property. They would be calling the police and kicking y'all's black asses out. And that would be anybody. And this is not even at the end of the day for me about race. It's the fact that you can't take something that doesn't belong to you. If you go into Walmart and you take stuff that don't belong to you, your ass gets arrested. If you go into Target, take something that don't belong to you, your ass going to get arrested. But you can somehow, some way, go into a house just because you got kids, take it over, act like you right, speak like you right, get all these people to talk about your right, and then sit here and be delusional to think that all this is okay. That is delusion. That is against the law. And it's problematic to boot and it proves and shows how desperate some people are. And it's the same theme yet again of a single black woman, no man, no relationship, no commitment, but somehow, some way, somehow, some way can find a way to F, make a baby, can't take care of it, blame someone else. It's wash, rinse, repeat, do again. Wash, rinse, repeat, do again. Ain't never a man in none of these stories. Ain't never a father. Ain't never a relationship. Ain't never a commitment. But that, that is the truth. These people get up on these cameras and give that information. And these reporters happen to never ask, where is the child's father? Never ask that. Never inquire to that. Why? Why is that? So every single woman, I'm going to go ahead and keep it to black woman that continues to come up on these cameras that always has a problem, that always is whining about something, that always is has an eviction, that always is mad about food stamps, that's always mad about someone coming to talk to them about taking over a home that don't belong to them. These are the things that they are saying in these videos. No one ever says, where do you bear responsibility? Where did you fail? What are you doing wrong? Why are you living like this? Why are you doing this to your children? Why do you continue to have children if you couldn't take care of the first one, the second one, the third one? Why is it only now that the landlord wants you out that is, oh my God, oh my God, I'm a black woman and it's not fair. But it's fair for you to take something over that don't belong to you, to bogart your way in, basically, to go ahead and act like you have something 
like like you you paid for it, like you worked for it. What happened to a work ethic? What happened to ethics at all? How about that? What happened to honesty? What happened to a hard day's work? What happened to things that make sense? What happened to things that follow the law? What happened to doing what needs to be done because it's your life? Not stealing, not lying, not depending on a government not taking advantage of other people, not not sitting up here complaining and whining about student loan debt not being paid off, not going to the daggone president's house to tell him that he need to pay it off, not out here on these daggone cameras whining and complaining to say that it's not fair, that you suck at money management and now it's someone else's fault, that you suck at eating and now you're fat and that's somebody else's fault, that you suck at managing a family, quote unquote, with no stable man in the home and that's somebody else's fault. It's excuse after excuse after excuse. When do adults become adults and are responsible for the decisions that they make, good, bad, and indifferent? We don't even have these women coming out here to say, I made a mistake. I effed up. I could have done better. I was wrong here. I need to change it. Can someone help me? I need to be able to figure this out. It's never that. It's always feel sorry for me and give to me. Feel sorry for me and give to me. Feel sorry for me and give to me. We've had enough. We've had enough to entitled biatches who never accept responsibility for their bad, effed up decisions. These women are nothing but bad excuses for mothers and women. They made the choices. It ain't even like any of these people look like, appear to have any type of uh, ailment that keeps them from being able to work. You are a type of person that supports this just because they're black, which is half damn crazy and stupid. You're the type of person that will go ahead and support this just because these people are black. But as soon as it would be a black man, you would call for his head. Ignorant. Disgraceful, disgusting, inappropriate. And I'm tired and so is everyone else. This is a false narrative that everyone owes everything to black women and I'm a black woman. Nobody owes us shit. You owe your damn self and your kids. We don't give a damn. We, you, well, specifically because you're doing wrong. At least if you was doing something right, then maybe someone would really give a damn and care. But because you're always doing something wrong, and I said always, because I mean always, because every story that I'm showing you is an always. It's an always. Because it's always, woe is me, woe is me, while looking for someone to give, 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 give. When do y'all give? When do y'all give, give something back, do something right, change what you're doing, stop going along with bullshit ass people that you don't even know, commiserating with people that don't care about you, looking into doing something different for yourself and your kids and your future. You don't even think about the future. You don't even plan for damn tomorrow. You don't even plan for your kids' future. Why have these children? Why continue to have children when your life already sucks? Why is it that you think that everybody else should care about your children? We was not there for that pleasure. We do not care about them kids. Y'all want to be defiant so bad and think that you're men so, so bad to the detriment of your kids? Is it that important to be that defiant? And you think that I'm the problem? I'm mad. I'm delusional. I'm a hypocrite. Child, this is exactly, this is exactly why y'all look half damn crazy and you continue to have these same problems over and over and over and over again because you don't want to listen. You don't, you prove every day that you don't know nothing about nothing. And yes, I'm talking about you too, Phil Gap. You clearly know nothing about nothing, but you want to be mad because there's yet another black woman who out here looking like a plum damn fool. And instead of directing your anger at that person for making the rest of us look bad, you would rather direct it at me for showcasing what is real. 
Black women are out here looking half damn crazy in a damn mess and effing up their own daggone lies and expecting pity from people. And we don't have any. We don't have any pity. We don't have no sympathy and we don't have no empathy. Why don't y'all get some discretion? Why don't y'all get a damn uh, trade? Why don't y'all go learn something? Why don't y'all go figure it out? Why don't y'all go to your baby daddies and give your daggone kids to them while you get your life together? Go to community college, figure out a trade, figure out a way to save some daggone money, figure out a way to get a home legally, buy it, put it in your name, fix your credit. No, that would just make too much sense. That would just make too much sense. Everyone else in the world got to do it, but not black women because of white supremacy, discrimination and racism. We tired. Take control of your own damn life. Figure out your own damn life. Stop running around here insulting people because you don't like the message. But again, you're not refuting anything about what was said. You're just mad hurling insults because that's all you know how to do is act like the same children that these people are. This is no different than kids playing on the daggone on a on a mat and someone taking one toy and another kid coming over and snatching it away from them because they just jealous because that one was playing with it first. There's no difference. Y'all act like kids. You show it every day. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.